In the spring of 2012, a buddy of mine, John Persley, approached me and said, Todd, you have to go check out the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in the Ivy Green Cemetery in Bremerton. When John asked me to go look at this, I was appalled at the conditions of the cemetery. There were weeds that had grown over headstones, juniper bushes that had totally encased the grave markers, headstones that had been turned over. I spent most of the day pulling weeds from around headstones. At that time, I knew that it was gonna take more than just me. This is a 25 plus acre cemetery that was gonna need the attention of many, many people. The major cleanup. So I reached out to the neighborhoods, small business owners, large business owners, just individuals in general. This community is a great community. And when you ask for help, people will come out in great numbers, which was shown on August 4th with over 250 plus volunteers. But one person who I remember that day was a veteran of the World War II and Korean War. This gentleman by the name of Dan showed up at 6.45 in the morning as I was getting ready and setting up for our 8.30 start time. He said, Todd, I'm here to help what can I do? I put him with the check-in table and I told him I wanted him to tell everybody who he was and what he did for our country. Well, my name is Dan Schremser and I served uh, in uh, World War II 1943 to 46 and then I went in, in 1948 to 51 during the Korean conflict. Somebody had to do something to keep this place respectable. And I figured that if I could do anything at all, I, I would at least make an appearance down here. So that's why I'm here with my grandson. I'm providing the brain and he's providing the brawn. <laughs> the cleanup was on such a large scale that Coma 4 News even came over and made it their top story of their 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 11 o'clock newscast. Looking at the grassy hillside of this city cemetery, you might not even know that a lot of military veterans are buried here, and that's because so many of the grave markers look like this, hidden by grass and weeds and just plain neglect. Well, today, a group of very passionate volunteers turned out here to try to transform this place into something beautiful. After the August 4th initial major cleanup, we still had some work to do. So I reached out to the USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier. What a great ship with good people. They came out in numbers on several different occasions to help us with cleaning up the cemetery. I want to thank all the men and women on that ship. They really exemplify what our Navy is today. After cleaning up the Ivy Green Cemetery, I wanted to focus on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. With no disrespect intended, our other Tomb of the Unknown Soldier had been forgotten. The sidewalks were cracked, they were uneven, the tomb was dirty looking, dingy. Our Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Bremerton needed TLC. I wanted to renovate but really didn't know what to do. I needed ideas. I needed someone with a creative mind. When I was in the Silverdale Starbucks getting my morning coffee, I ran into a guy by the name of Josh Fisher. Josh is a local barista at the Silverdale Starbucks. I said to him, I like your artwork. I said, hey, would you be willing to help me with the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier that we're looking at renovating? Josh said, tell me more about it. After talking to Josh about it, put our ideas together, and he came up with a beautiful plan. A design that was unbelievable was of a ribbon, which encompassed our tomb in the middle. I was amazed at how simple, but yet what a class act his design was. As we cleaned up the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, it was great to see all these different individuals come together for one common cause. To have people come as far away from Arizona, Seattle, Tacoma to help us was inspiring. After all the hard work, we knew we had to have a dedication ceremony. So on September 29th, we had a de dedication ceremony that united once again everyone who had given their heart and their soul to this cause. I want to say how honored I was to have the commanding officer of the Ronald Reagan as our keynote speaker to have Senator Derek Kilmer, who's now our congressman, there to speak. Josh Fisher, the designer. I want to thank all these individuals. I enjoy now just sometimes going there and driving through to make sure everything still looks in tip-top shape. I think it not only was a, a way to unite the community, but it was a way to ask more of our city workers to raise the bar and to step up their game and how they keep the park up. I hope future generations will, will carry the torch. Always give back to your community. It's not only a good feeling to know that you're doing something good, but it also helps many other people who maybe can't get out and do what you can do. Don't take no for an answer. Persevere and keep the course and you will meet success in the end.
it's amazing what we were able to do together and coming together and, and, and all with the same mindset of wanting to make something great and to better our community. We did it.